What's up everyone, Pulsar Tech here, and we're just a few hours away from the biggest showcase of tech in the world. That's right, I'm talking about the CES 2021. It will be taking place from January 11th to the 14th, and it will be all digital event. Now let's get to the biggest trends of the show, and the biggest thing of the CES has always been the TVs. Bigger, brighter, more pixels, it's always been the thing presented at the annual CES show. At CES 2021, the new tech that you're gonna be hearing even more are gonna be the mini LED. There are two main types of TVs on the market right now. Those are the LED and OLED. LED backlit, they illuminate or dim hundreds of zones on the TV. And OLED is capable of controlling each single pixel individually so that it can give you much better black colors. The third TV tech that's taking a certain stage at CES 2021 is gonna be Mini LED. It was first introduced by TCL in 2019 in the US. And you can think about this TV tech as something that falls between LED and OLED. Mini LEDs uses tenth of thousands of small LEDs that illuminate or dim hundreds of different zones, giving you a much better contrast and better picture overall. It's not controlling all the pixels like OLED, but it's doing a better job by controlling more than hundreds of zones, giving you a better picture than LED. Mini LED technology gives you the best picture out of all LED displays, and it has significantly less blooming, that white glowing that you see on the size of LED TVs. Mini LED can get deep black colors close to OLED, and now the big tech giants such as LG and Samsung are already bringing their mini LED based TVs to the CES 2021. When TCL is bringing their third generation of mini LED TVs that brings even an improved picture and a thinner form factor. Mini LED TVs are gonna be less expensive than OLED. You can consider it as being the new generation of LED that's gonna bring you a better picture quality at cheaper prices than OLED. So hopefully this was clear for you, so you can think about it like there is LED, there is mini LED, and then there is OLED as far as the picture quality goes. As TV tech has evolved, the manufacturing prices get cheaper, so we're gonna see much bigger screens this year. So we're probably gonna see more 80 plus inches displays on the show because the production prices have come down and we're probably gonna get better deals at the sizes that we used to, like 65 and less. Now something's gonna be showing next level up of TV tech. That's micro LED, which in theory is gonna be a next step up from OLED. It's gonna bring like perfect blacks, excellent color, near ideal viewing from any angle. I know it kind of sounds like OLED, but this micro LED display is gonna be even brighter and they're gonna be even slimmer design. They're gonna be made out of organic compounds, so they're gonna be immune to burning out or color degradation from a long-term use. And it should be less expensive to make over time. But this is probably gonna be just a prototype or what we call like a display version because the Samsung 110 inches display is costing somewhere around 156,000. Definitely not gonna be affordable for many people, but that's gonna show us what's gonna be in the future. Within a few years, it should get cheaper and it's gonna be more mass product. They're gonna be making a 99 and 88 version of it as well with the 4K resolution. So yeah, it's not gonna be cheap and not affordable for many people, but CES not all about what's affordable. They just bring new tech to the world. Eventually there's gonna be more mass production. The price is gonna go down and we're gonna see those displays at much cheaper price tag. All right, this is good enough for TVs. We're gonna see more updates soon, so stay tuned for that. And of course, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new updates. I appreciate it, guys, very much. Another big thing that's gonna be showcasing on CES 2021 is gonna be 5G. I know there were a lot of talk about 5G at the previous shows, but there's still a lot of room to grow and there's gonna be way more devices rolling out with 5G support. In the US, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, has rolled out their 5G network already. Verizon is a feature key on speakers on the show, so we're gonna see what they got to say about it. But in other parts of the world, the 5G is not quite yet. So it's kinda here, but it's not quite here yet. Soon there's gonna be probably more 5G network all over the world. This is probably gonna be the biggest tech innovation. It's just gonna change the way how we use our electronic devices, how they connect together. But we're just not there yet. Now CES is a showcase for cars. And this is a space where it brings a lot of big ideas and concepts. And it's also one of the most exciting parts of the show. And we know Tesla's bringing their new tech to the show as well. And they're actually making other car manufacturers reconsider what the new tech is all about and how to implement it in the new vehicles because they bring that new ideas 
to the market and make the other manufacturers follow up and bring other techs that they can implement in their cars. We start seeing how the car manufacturers start making EV versions of their iconic cars. GM CEO is going to be speaking at the show, explaining their vision for the future. We've already seen Mercedes-Benz bring their 56-inch touchscreen display that will debut in the upcoming EQS luxury sedan. They're calling that thing a hyperscreen, but I think this is ridiculous. Just think about it, 56-inch screen in your car is basically taking the whole dash. I think it's something like from the future. And John Deere Harvesting Tractor is one of the honorees for the CES 2021 One of the Best Innovation Award. Now, I'm not expecting to see big things from the phone or camera areas. Those products usually have their own showcases. Actually, Samsung's gonna be unveiling their new Galaxy S21 on the last day of the show, and it's technically not part of the show, but it's still gonna be taking place on January 14th, so don't miss out that. If you don't wanna miss that event, subscribe to the channel, and I'm gonna let you know what it's gonna be all about. So I'll try to do my best to cover all the best tech reviews in the time and the manner. I thank you guys very much for all of your support. And if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. I appreciate you guys very much. It will help me grow my channel. And also click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.